Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching me today. In this video, it's kind of like a two in one video. So I'm going to be doing, as the title says, a huge 2020 haul as I went to my favourite ever place last Thursday down south in London. Uh, where my video is, is from. Uh, my favourite ever place, it's like a big house clearance place in the south of uh, London and it's literally amazing. It's like heaven. So I'm going to be up sh uh, uploading, that was me trying to combine sharing and uploading into one word, uh, <laughs> some uh, shorts on here as well so you can see me actually in action in a place which I just think is like a huge whole chunk of heaven as I love it that much. But I have so many cool things to share with you today. So you're gonna have a feast for your eyes in two ways as I'm also at an amazing house sit in Northamptonshire. <laughs> Literally what's wrong with me today. Um, so it's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, that chandelier isn't bad and it's not even the biggest one in the house. I know, mind blowing. So I'll give you a little whiz around the house into the main rooms so we can have lots of fun together and you can see lots of cool things. So, should we get down to business? Okay. So, so many cool things. Three IKEA bags full. Three. I know. And I carried them all with these arms back to my car. See? I am way stronger than I look, but nobody ever believes me. But I don't really believe them. <laughs> I'm determined. Or some people might say stubborn. I'll let you choose. <laughs> so, I'm going to go and get my first bag. I'll be back. Hold it up. A line of you, if you wish. Uh, I've got a new light ring as well, so that was a feat in itself to set up and I haven't fully set up because I need to put it back down again, blah, 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 but lots of cool things to share with you um, today. Let's get all my bags here, let's go. It's easier. Right, let's get down to business. So, uh, I haven't done any research into eras or anything like that, so it's us like rediscovering it together again. See, I have like a little pale blue and white dress. It is made by Susan Hort in London. I think it's really cute. I think this is 50s, it's like a cotton colour. So, really nice. Um, I think it's very pretty. Oh. Next we have this amazing like 1930s slip. So cute really pretty, low cut back, just really nice. Has like a slight hole to the front, which is a bit of a shame actually, and a very subtle uh, striped print to it. So nice, nice, nice. Very appropriate, vintage Alexan, made in Great Britain, 60s coat, love these colours. Like check, orange, brown and cream. Such a classic coat, big colour, you literally just can't go wrong with these coats, do you? Another good one, little tartan riding jacket. I really like the um, sleeves on this and the fact that it probably would have been a suit this, but it still has the, um, sorry, I'm really not doing the regular show anymore. Little um, riding belt with it, so it goes in around the waist, so really cute. Haha. -ha. Now, who doesn't love a bit of fringing or tassels? I literally love it, it's my favourite thing. And Devore um, velvet in beautiful like jewel colours. So this is such a cute little um, shrug slash jacket. Really pretty. So as you can tell, I have actually just changed the angle of the camera because I hate it when it keeps changing the colour, it's so annoying. So, different view, there's never a bad view in this house, so it's like a visual treat, isn't it? <laughs> um, next we have really cute 60s little floral geometric clashing print top, really cute, I love wearing tops like this, I have one on now. This is old m and as well, the metallic fibre floral print, pastel hues. Um, next, oh I love this, be your own bouquet of flowers, Irish wool, cute, cute, cute floral 
floor jumper. I literally love it. Took his inspiration from Van Gogh. <laughs> See, you are the lucky lot that get to hear all the things I don't write in my descriptions. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. So this is going to be... <clears throat> sorry. Adding to my repair pile again, which always seems to be growing. Uh, I think it's really, really old from like the lace. I actually think this is Edwardian. So I need to do a bit more um, research into it. And I, I'll closely look at the construction, um, the interior, because I really haven't looked at it since I bought it. Um, but from initial inspection and when I was actually looking at it to buy, I do believe it's quite old, but I think it's really pretty. There is some damage to the very delicate lace. Um, so that does need to be repaired, but I think it's so nice. It's like solid here and then it's like sheer towards the bottom so over the belly and on the arms so very nice i love the fact that this is so old that it is still quite modern and you can so totally wear that now like yeah fits in with the house as well doesn't it and then we have another old uh vintage uh marks and spencer's 60s little uh, Argyle-esque print striped fine knit. Now I'm quite liking the drop waist at the moment. How's everyone feeling about that for dresses? It's like a bit firm, a bit relaxed, isn't it? This one has like a flapper S design. The way that the panels, floor panels have been added in sections and the shaped hemline. So nice for parties. Floaty and swishy. And still has the matching belt. So you can either wear it as a belt or, you know, as a neck, head. I always think, you know, wear it as you want. Uh, and this is by Irvin Sellers London. Now, I have heard of him. And I think this is quite a good find, actually. I'll come back to you. So, yeah, made in England, obviously. So nice. Very nice. Very lucky. It's cute. I also appreciate how the straps and then like this i'm pretty sure this is called a french seam here is in the floral print so all these little details i like i see them when i'm buying them but my enthusiasm level is like it scares me when i'm down there <laughs> i think i talk a lot normally <laughs> you've never seen me down there um and i like it's nice for me to do this with you so we can share the fun of it because you know vintage high hashtag a hashtag my vintage high is like best thing ever isn't it and then i get to re-look and re-appreciate all the details together and also oh, as always i'd love to hear your favorite of my finds uh, so please comment below and we can have a chat about it so i really love this this bold floral print and i really love the fact that it's got a zip on it i think it's so cool and it's by duracell always say that wrong sorry I still can't speak, uh, pronounce it made in england again Oh, I love velvet. I sold the most amazing Edwardian uh, black velvet coat with the most incredible puff sleeves for Christmas. Oh, I'll forever miss that coat, but this is also a stunner. Beautiful velvet, nice sort of um, inverted pleat at the back. Was it? No, sorry, that was just the seams I'm seeing things. Um, but yeah, such an amazing coat, super soft, super many labels in it. No, not that I can see, obviously. Uh, we will come back to that. Can't go wrong with a bit of um, a black and blue and white knit, can you? Cute little geometric print. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> a little knitted farmer jumper dress. How cute is this? Like, full on 90s, I think. Ah. Now, good old Laura Ashley. You cannot go wrong with Laura Ashley, can you? 100% wool in the most amazing colours. It is that vibrant in real life. Cow neck. Oh, it's such a great one. So 80s. Double breasted fasting. Chunky, cool, and cosy and colourful. That's all the fours, isn't it? All the C's. You just can't go wrong. Next, I really love this print on this. I love a classroom print. Um, I just think it's really fun. And um, I do love pastels, but it's 
quite girly for me, but this this item, this dress. But I love the print so much. Um, it's just really cool. So nice, easy to wear like summer dress. Roll on spring and summer age. Um, yeah, it's like a slouchy oversized sort of Indian sort of esque dress. Um, I have in my mind. So that looked good on. Ah oh, ha ha. Right, all you ladies out there that love a colourful pair of pants, these are for you. Now I love orange. Orange and blue are like two of my favourite colours and these are like the most amazing shade of orange ever. So, so cool. They, I actually think they're men's but who cares. Why should they get everything? <laughs> um, next we have another vintage m and Little fair hour, navy blue and cobalt blue cardigan. I think they look cool with the red pants actually. Then we have a vintage CNA fine knit red top with black edging on it. Really cute, really super soft actually. And then we have a folding pile of clothes. <laughs> oh wow, look at this dress. Now, I seem to have bought a lot of feathery things. Now, my favourite thing, I'm going to say towards the end because I just think it's so cool and I got shown it, found it, bought it. I was like, oh, amazing. It is pure 60s heaven. The colour, everything about it is amazing. Sadly, it does need a little TLC, but this is the most amazing little black dress, isn't it? Has a lower back and feathered sleeves. Oh, yeah. So cool. have a little vintage mini length jumper dress super cute can't go wrong with an item like that can you so i'm going to have to tidy up after myself in a moment right next we are on to a classic sheepskin coat you can't go wrong with these can you especially for all the wild weather we've been having here longer length I haven't tried this on yet, but I think it's like an 8 to a 10. It's in great condition though. Lovely. Then we have a little suede jacket, patchwork suede jacket in like an olive green colour. It's pretty boho, I think. I love the stitch detail into it and it's like a nice little summer jacket, I think. Next we have a rather sexy black leather top. Look so nice for a night out with high waisted jeans, I think, or if you've got a black leather skirt, also look really cool. But yeah, just love it. Trousers, very nice. Then we have more vintage MS made in the UK, little um, black cardigan. Pretty sure this is wool. Mohair, 50% mohair, slouchy silhouette, love it. So nice. <laughs> I told you it was a bit cool. A cute little cable knit cardigan in like an oatmeal colour. Then we've got a cosy um, high neck sort of red speckly jumper. Nice. Oh, now we've got a yellow Aran knit jumper as well. Now we have a super oversized. A uh, caftan dress and like a beige sort of check colour. Let's move my camera again. It's like super long and definitely super oversized. Seems to be really cute. Another angle. <laughs> a nice little zesty. Um, bat wing 80s uh, citron wool jumper, cute, fine knit. A great long, super long scarf actually. And can't go wrong with a lovely camel coat, can you? 
I love the lighting. Nice and long length, colourless design, so it's kind of like a little bit different. And I'm pretty sure even though the label is faded, uh -huh. as we speak, the label is inside as well. It is a, a wool, nice wool coat. So, lovely. Very nice. So, on to the next bag. Now, this is the dress that I was telling you about. Now, I, it does need some TLC in terms that it's quite stained. But my mum is a devil at getting stains out. Obviously, it's super delicate. And it is by it's really old metal zip Jean Veron, which is very good. So it says a 12 on the label, so I guarantee you this is 8. You can just tell. The zip's not done up, but it's got age marks all over the back as well. It is fully stained throughout. But look at it. Isn't the colour amazing? And look at that. Oh my god, I love it. So feathery goodness. Now, please, <laughs> can I have somewhere to wear this to? Because I love it, it is so cool. Literally, as soon as I started, I was just like, oh my god, isn't this literally amazing? <laughs> so that's my favourite. I know you're not meant to have favourites. But let's face it, we all do. I love this as well, actually. I love a bit of um, embroidery on glaze or like cut out detail. And then, uh, I love the oversized design, the fact that it's got buttons on the front so you can wear it as like an oversized shirt, top, but it's like really detailed. So nice. How nice does this look on a hot summer's day? Hot. And we have some. Pure new wool little bit jumper. Uh, it could be kids actually. But it's Shetland wool um, and it's never been worn. So nice. Nice mohair white scarf because why not? Oh, I just bought this because it's really old lace and old lace is really expensive if you don't know where to shop <laughs> or find things. Um, and you never know, I never know when I could need something like this and I have an Edwardian wedding dress that I just need significant repair so that's, and we have to send it out to get that repaired by someone because I am definitely not skilled enough. So this could help with the restoration of it. So that's why I bought this, quite a good size as well. So. <laughs> now I just started to research about different sorts of needlework uh, and embroidery work and like different types of like embroidery. How cute is this little dress? It's so cute, isn't it? Love it, absolutely love it. So again, I think this is really old. Victorian Edwardian time, along with this lady. So very long, as you can see. And I love the colour. So I'm just going to, I need to find out what this technical phrase of this is called, this detail. So it's like a broader in phase, isn't it? Which means cut out, but I feel like it's called something different. So I just think all the details of this are so nice. And my idea was to shorten it, to make it more wearable, because it's quite long at the moment. But I'm going to see how it looks on and take it from there. Because I do like to keep things as original as possible. Uh, I think that's best in my opinion, so we will see. Cute little beaded bag. Really nice. Pretty sure these are glass beads as well, it's very heavy for its small size. And it's made in Belgium, how cute. So, pretty eh? some more fabric why not um, really cool um like 60s mid century modern uh, wool pink blanket <laughs> this is actually amazing now i love a sleeve love a sleeve 
fancy sleeve detail is great. Now this is like a crocheted wedding dress. Uh, nice and long, super boho. Look at those sleeves. Oh my goodness, I love it. So cool. Even the buttons are crocheted. <laughs> so how cool is that? Special keep clean bag. Um, what was my second? One of my favourite colours, blue. I have two slightly different but blue uh, trench coats. Uh, this is like the Notch Repels. I think it's more seventies. Double breasted fasting, and the colour is amazing. Absolutely love it. So cool. And then the next one is like pure 60s. Again, slightly different shade of blue, but so cool. These are literally the most amazing um, coats ever. And this one has a belt detail to the back, literally. So cool, blue leather trench. Yes, please. Love them, love, love, love. And then next we have a, I'm sure this is Jean Muir. Yes, Jean Muir. Either mini dress, if you're not my height, six foot one, <laughs> or long top if you are tall. <laughs> but you can't go wrong with a slinky Jean Muir. This camera really doesn't do it any justice. It needs to be on this because I know she's like a devil with drapery. She knows that it's going to like just hang perfectly. So I know this is going to be not your average black top slash dress. And it has the most cool, coolest little detail on the sleeve there. I really, really like the camera. There we go. Huh. So, yeah, I think. Very nice. And you can tell this is the first bag that we started to put things in because it's all folded nice and neatly. <laughs> and then it's like just too much to fold. Too much to fold. And we have a Daniel Hetcher made in Paris. Really nice camel coat. I love this detail here. How flattering. It's like a um, waist belt detail, but it just sort of cinches you in at the waist. So lovely, really flattering. Notch of pearl, great colour lining as well. Oh. I bought a 1920s dress as well, which I'll add as a short because it's so delicate. I can't, if I get it out now, it's just going to ruin it even more. Uh, it's so beautiful, the most perfect shade of green, glass buttons, it is literally wrecked, like it was disintegrating in my hands, but I bought it anyway, <laughs> and my idea is to frame it, because you can't really hang it, because the weight of the beads is like ruining the really delicate silk chiffon, but it's so pretty, I couldn't, I couldn't not buy it, because you know, even though you can't wear it, I can still appreciate it looking at the wall, can't I, so that's my plan for that, and I'll add that as a short, because if I get it out now, it's just going to ruin it even more so I don't want to do that but I'll try and like show you the colour at least so um this is another Jimmyer wall blend made England jumper dress super casual really easy to wear nice little house dress working from home effort this is it ah I literally this is all I can show you I'm afraid It is like the most perfect shade of green. I love it. I, I would describe it as a soft moss green. If that exists, in my head, I know what that means perfectly. <laughs> Probably the other one. <laughs> Please let me know if you know what I mean by soft moss green, but I would add a shot so you can see it. But it is like so pretty. Completely useless as a piece of clothing now because it is so it's so damaged, which you'll see in the shot I had. But it is so beautiful. It's like art, I think, which fashion is, isn't it? So you have a few more things to show you. So I bought a variety of scarves in like fun prints. Because I am attracted to all these colours and prints and stuff. I like vibrant things, fun things, things that make me smile. Another one. Super cool. Another. It's very similar, but not the same. Yeah, 
very very similar little another little girl's dress but not the same and it is again the most beautiful work on it so cute now i do think these are really old but it's so wearable still aren't they if i had a little girl she'd wear that another nice bit of fabric look at that print now my friend sue down there I believe this was a liberties print she wasn't sure why but i'm going to research it but it's so cool isn't it that is a great print and then <laughs> oh a skirt <laughs> nice little edwardian skirt i think you could actually like it's obviously an underskirt but i'm not sure how slightly sheer but yeah cute love it nice detail to it And then last but not least, oh no, hang on, oh, ho, ho. two great things. So, this is, without doing full research on it, a little Edwardian ladies sort of top, blouse. Really pretty. Um, so nice. Really, really simple. I just, but so detailed as well. So that's in excellent condition as well. There's literally not a mark on it, which blows my mind. Especially if you knew where I went to go and get this. To say it is um, not safe for children <laughs> is underestimate. Probably fairly safe for people, but that's why I love it because it's just like how my mind looks. The burst of coolness. <laughs> Chaos, some might say, but little Edwardian blouse, really pretty. And then. We have Lily's 1940s pink <laughs> silk bloomers pants. How beautiful are these? The softest pink and edging. Literally so cool. Great condition for the age as well. But yeah, love it. So that. Uh, there are some of my amazing vintage finds. Now I'm going to give you a little quick whiz around the house, just a few rooms, so you can have a bit more of a explore and see what we see where we get to sit when we go house sitting. If you haven't watched my other video about it, you should totally give it a go. It is literally such a cool way to see the country or the world. You can do it throughout the world. Um, we paid seventy five pounds for a year membership on the site. We use Trusted House Sitters. Um, because you can't tell from my accent, I'm English, so that's the main one in England, I think. Um, but like I said, all over the world, and then uh, if you wanted to give it a go, if you're like in the process of moving house, like we were, or you know, just looking to go and explore the world for cheap, which we're going to carry on doing this now because it is literally the best way to see it. And we've met some really lovely people, we've stayed in some amazing places. We love animals. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know Olive is the apple of my eye. I have an olive shaped heart. So to get to go away um, with Olive, whilst we've been in the UK, it's been amazing for us. We were in Salisbury over Christmas, which was so nice. Um, it's just such a great way to see the country in the world and it really can't recommend it enough. It's totally worth the £75 for the year. Uh, you can also get that deal. I'm gonna leave you my referral code at the bottom. So you get 25% off and then Anthony and I and Olive get two months free. So thank you very much in advance, but it is really, totally worth it like i can't recommend it enough it's just so much fun great way to like really see your own country because we have done a lot of traveling we've been to loads of amazing countries and we love it but obviously with lockdown and stuff you couldn't do that so it's been a great experience and we're going to keep doing it now even uh with our new house and stuff like that so it's just going to be it's just so much fun i can't recommend it enough and it's a great way to see the country and explore around so I'm going to take you around for a little whiz around this amazing house so you can uh, see where we are at the moment. <laughs> Obviously our new house isn't this big or planned. <laughs> uh, and I'll be back to wish you farewell.
So it is a Queen Anne style architecture house and it was a it was modelled on Buckingham House when Buckingham Palace was referred to as a house. So I believe it goes Queen Anne architecture, then Georgian, then Victorian, then Edwardian. So this is called the Red Room, obviously. <laughs> Absolutely giant table. Very nice, very nice. Then I'll take you through to the grand staircase. Nice sweeping staircase. An absolutely giant chandelier, which is 18 foot long from top to bottom. Absolutely incredible. Always makes me think of Del Boy. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, and then wonderful window seats. This is into the library. has come out now. Absolutely beautiful house. Very Downton Abbey, I think. But yeah, very nice. I'm going to stand down here so you can see where we just were. This is views out into the ground, obviously south facing. That's where we were just filming the uh, lounge and there's like three chandeliers running in perfect line with each other. I just think it's so beautiful. The ceiling height is unreal, like 18 foot. Beautiful. See my stock all packed up down there. <laughs> and go through this way. It was built for and by the Obelar family. I always say it wrong. I'll write it in the description because that's definitely not how it is pronounced. But And then into this, which is kind of like almost a very grand hall. <laughs> For lack of a better description, through that door you can see the red room again. This house is absolutely giant, so I'm not going to show you all of it. Um, it is huge. I think it has like 16 bedrooms or something. So I will just show you the main rooms down here, which is these ones. These are the nicest and the oldest rooms. And then I'll take you upstairs and we can have a little wurzel up there. So thank you so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate you watching, especially all the way to the end. Blows my mind that you want to listen to me. I hope you have enjoyed my amazing vintage finds, if I don't say so myself. Uh, please comment below your favourite one, I'd love to hear uh, anything else that you think about the pieces. I'd love to know what you think, it really just fills me with joy when I see your comments because it makes me so excited. I hope you've also enjoyed the mini house tour and uh, think about giving house sitting a go, literally so much fun. I hope you've enjoyed this video, please comment below what you think and what, what your favourite find is. Anything that, any thoughts that pop into your head, I'd love to hear it. And I hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.